nearby Hurricane Norma unleashed its fury on the tranquil shores of Purple Air of Mexico. Just 11 days after Hurricane Lydia, this coastal paradise was transformed into a surfer's playground. Normally calm Banderas Bay was now a battleground of colossal waves and surging tides. These dangerous conditions drew crowds of curiosity seekers eager to witness the awe-inspiring power of nature. Think it's not a big deal to see a surfer in Banderas Bay? Well, take a look at this bay on any other ordinary day. I've been coming to Puerto Vallarta for over 45 years and this is the first time I've witnessed surfing here. If you want to catch it, you'll need to time it just right after a hurricane. As the high surf damaged the Malacan, even the iconic Puerto Vallarta sign had to be relocated away from the seawall and placed near the street. Keep an eye out for the Sea of Or statue. The day after filming, they had to remove the sign completely. While we were strolling along the Malacone, a massive wave came crashing over, wrenching us. My brand new shoes were ruined and Pooperetta Monkey bolted in surprise. After the extensive cleanup from Hurricane Lydia, they are once again hard at work, putting everything back in order after Norma's fury. Puerto Vallarta's peaceful days have transformed into a hive of bustling workers. Thanks for joining us on this thrilling journey. Subscribing and liking our channel is a fantastic way to support us. If you'd like to go the extra mile, why not buy us a coffee? Visit paypal.me at travelingwithdogsmx or explore our Traveling With Dogs store for some creative products. We also have a GoFundMe page dedicated to Pooperhead and Monkey's veterinary care. Your contributions ensure that we continue to deliver fantastic content. See you next time. Get the right